I started training wushu when I was nine and a half, turning ten in September 1997. So, uh, like about nine and a half years now. And I've trained under Sufu Chris Ho at Southern California Wushu Academy um, for yeah, ten years almost. And I've also had additional training from Wang Wei, Ko Sha, and Wei Wei. I started getting into wushu after watching a lot of Chinese dramas. And they had a lot of sword fighting. I always thought it was cool to be a girl who can fight like them and fly and jump. And I got into wushu and I really liked it. And at first training was rough, but then I was young, so like stretching wasn't as hard as it would be when I'm older. And it was rough, a lot of stances, my leg hurt, it was painful throughout all the years I've trained. But yeah, it was really interesting how yeah, I improved over the years. It's entertaining. It's different from any other martial arts, I guess. It's fun. It's not, there's, some, there's always something new to work on. And before, when I didn't really train hard or really got serious with wushu, I didn't. My schedule was different, of course. But now that I'm more serious and more competitive, I try to like watch my diet and try to eat healthy for competition, especially. Yeah, like a month before, it's like I have to really lose some weight or like get it to, to maintain my weight, basically. And I have to train really hard. I try to put in more hours a week. And tr I try to train twice a day when I have time. And yeah, just a lot of endurance training and conditioning, basically. And just a lot of repetition so I can get uh, improve on muscle memory. Well, competition is definitely way more competitive now, now that new girls are coming in or new athletes, basically. Like, we have to jump a lot more now. Jumping is a big requirement now that the rules are set in China. And so I have to really work on that, just jump better, be more consistent because how, you, how consistent you are really determines your score with the jumps and everything. And I have to work on my endurance. And choreography is a big issue because they judge you on rhythm, and how you choreo choreograph your form. And that's basically on me, and my coaches help me with that, but I make up my form, basically. And I have to really put out like a lot of time to make sure the rhythm works out, and I have to, get, I have to be faster and stronger, which I feel like are my strengths, speed and power, but I can always work on that. Very demanding, and I feel like, even though I'm only 19, I feel like I am getting pretty old. <laughs> Because I've done this for so long, so demanding on the body for about 10 years now. And I was hoping that I will make next teams and, and we'll see from there. But I, I don't really plan on doing this for more than five years. Because I really want to do other things in life. But I will always be a part of Wushu. It's just that I don't think I'll be actively competing anymore after five years or so. I'm going to show you how to do an inside crescent kick into a split position. Well, you straighten out your right left hand, and you step out your left foot, and you kick, you raise up your left, your right leg, and you slap it with your left hand. And you try to kick as high as you can, slap, and then you just slide out into a split. And straighten out the back leg, and point, flex up your left foot. I'm going to do it this time with regular speed. Oh, uh, because American Wushu is very unpopular and no one really knows of it. And so the uh, USA WKF, our federation for Wushu, they are, I don't think they make money, so it's hard for them to support us. So we pay for our own trip to international competitions. But then Tiger Claw, they sponsor us like the team jacket so we can all match. And, and I asked for fundraisers from my team mates or from the Wushu community, and that works out. I think we should definitely get some like percentage of like the fundraising that they should pay for us because I feel like we're representing the country, the federation, and I don't think it's fair that we have to pay our own way through international competitions because it's really expensive.
let's say are you prepared to be sore for a long portion of your life because I'm always sore doing wushu and it's painful, it's very demanding. And, but it's really fun. Like you can, once you get into advanced level, you can choreograph your form, you pick out, like you look at movements from China athletes or like the better athletes or just any athlete. And then you like the movement, you just put it all together. So it's a lot of creativity, it's just new. And it's just, there's music now in China with your form. So I guess that's pretty cool. And you jump a lot and wushu is very fascinating with the jumps. So you can do a lot of cool tricks and maybe you can consider stunting because that requires a lot of jumps. But you also have to focus on the traditional values or like traditional movements, like just stances and just ground basics. That's important too. So it's like wushu is just so wide and you have to focus on everything, not just jumps or just groundwork. It's everything. It's fun, but it's also very painful and time consuming because you have to, to spend a lot of time to train to be one of the better athletes, one of the top athletes, and keep in shape. When I compete, mentally, that's probably even more important than physical because you have to be mentally set and in a mentally right state of mind. Like, you know what you're doing and you have to be confident. And I just keep telling myself, like, I can do this. I can win this competition and that's how I become consistent and yeah it's really hard because when you see other athletes who are just better prepared than you you just feel so intimidated but then you just gotta block that away and just focus on yourself and your own performance and worry about yourself and just plan everything and live with what the score you're gonna get. Oh, well, I have, I get a lot of pressure from my coach and from my family and for myself. I built that pressure up because I don't want to disappoint my coaches, my family, or like I spend a lot of money to go to competitions and I just think of that and like put so much time and effort into competing for this tournament, for this performance. So I just really set my mind to not let people down and just do my best and I just wanted people to be proud of me.